hundreds of thousands of people in the dark in California as crews cut power to reduce the risk of wildfires there. So how long will the lights be out? We'll have that for you next. I mean, I understand the winds, the fire conditions, the fire fuel, PG&E's neglect of their infrastructure, of taking care of their infrastructure, maintaining that. Frankly, this just sucks. Yes, folks, quite coincidental, I was working on my generator to get ready for this winter season here in southern New Hampshire when all this news broke out about Southern California Edison doing the things that they're doing. You know, it's pretty sad when your power companies turn off their power supposedly to prevent wildfires because they uh, neglect their diligent duties and clearing the lines here in southern New Hampshire our local energy companies have been working through the last few summers to clear trees away from power lines so when these uh, brutal cold snaps occur where there's rain and freezing the tree limbs snap taking down power this is my Honda inverter 3000 IS EU 3005. I've had this thing since 2003. There's my moving sticker from when we had it in California. Uh, I gotta tell you, folks, this thing surprised the dickens out of me. It had, uh, well, because of some neglect and some miscommunications, the fuel was left in it for about a year. So I drained the fuel out, performed the uh, procedure to clean out the carburetor basically just let the fluid out of it on this unit there's an access panel and when you open that panel up it gives you access to the carburetor and they luckily they have a drain I'll show you that in a minute where you can drain the fluid out of the carburetor yes folks if you look right here this is where the fuel line drains for the carburetor float ball you can drain the fluid out. I really like this feature because it makes it easier to do maintenance. So while I had it apart, I went ahead and took out the battery and I'm replacing the battery and I'm going to have a charger circuit uh, so I could keep the battery peaked. But again, the Honda Inverter EU 3000 IS is a keeper. Uh, when I changed out the, when I changed the oil, which was easy peasy, I'll show you that little feature right here. It has your oil drain and your oil fill. Of course, I've got the cover off because I'm maintaining the spark arrester, getting access to that guy making sure it's not got any cobwebs, nothing's growing in it. It started right up as soon as I put new fuel in it. I was impressed. Uh, changed the oil, like I said before, with new fresh Honda 10W30 for this temperature range around here. and I really enjoy this 3000. It has everything I need to provide power to the house. You've got your inverted IR and you have your key switch indicators throttle your your 30 amp it has a low oil shut off I put wheels on this one so I can get it around I do chain it when I use it this has the uh, US Forest Service rating of 60 dBm for low noise. Since it has the inverter, you're getting pure D, you're getting pure AC out. An AC line is pure. And that is garbage, static. So your computers, your if you want to run this on a sensitive electronics, it's what it's built for. Is sensitive electronics. Originally, I purchased it to operate the RV when I didn't have a generator because the one I originally purchased didn't have a generator in it because it was a 76 Winnebago my very first RV that I owned I bought this to provide power also uh, since it's inverted 
it's a lot cleaner so the uh, electronics that you want to operate with it won't take hits and burn it up has an easy peasy gas indicator very tight fitting lid I really enjoy this generator folks so uh, let you know that uh, not just sitting here on my laurels making sure that we have power here uh, and you noticed a couple of earlier videos I bought some five gallon fuel tanks for a very good price at the local home center and right now our gasoline's running about 230 a gallon that's American dollars and uh, we're really fortunate that when that uh, Egyptian our Saudi Arabian oil field was bombed that American gas prices didn't didn't flinch a bit here I don't know about anybody else but our gas prices stayed stable during the entire event and thereafter so here we are folks it's kind of funny that California is sitting in the dark right now but oh well you, you make your bed, you sleep in it, folks out there. If you need, if you live in California, you're getting this. Get out of there. Get out of California. You're, you're just you, the more the trouble's coming. Wait till nightfall when the animals start coming out. I'm curious to see what the what the police reports will be the following day. So take care out there, California. I don't have anybody out there that I really care about anymore. So of course I did have friends out there, but uh, they've all moved since. Good luck. Admiral Preparedness here. Always be prepared. Bye now.